Uh, my name is Melvin Osborne. I have lymphedema in both legs. This is my journal, and the reason why I keep this is because I want to be able to show people what they can, the benefits that they can get from this if they will take and go to a lymphedema therapist and follow their guidelines and what they tell you to do. And that's one of the reasons why I carry this with me, because I wanted to show them the results of what can happen. When it actually started with the swelling in my leg was after I was kicked by that horse when I was about seven years old. And like I was saying the other day, it, it lay dormant for many years. Yes, at that time I had some type of infection. There was a doctor come and treated me, but I don't know actually how he treated me, I don't recall. I developed cellulitis in one leg. I'd been in the hospital for two weeks. I'd taken me out for two weeks. I developed it in the other leg. I've been in the hospital for two weeks. This went on back and forth like that for about three months. I went and bought myself a pair of Western boots at that time. I had no idea what I'd done. But what that had done, I found out later, it kept things under control on that. And about 1995 in or 96, I could no longer buy a style of boot that would fit me. Actually, the manufacturer that made the boots for me, they went out of business. So that's when my legs actually got huge. I had no idea what I had. I went to this doctor, went to that doctor on that. Couldn't find out anything. They didn't know what to do. But finally in 2006, I went to a chiropractor that I've been going to off and on. I'm saying, can you help me? He looked at me and he says, no. But, asked, but he said, are you interested in knowing about lymphedema? That's the first time I'd ever heard the word. So he put me in touch with a therapist. It went for about 12 weeks for therapy. But when I first started going for therapy and that, she said, I think I can get you back in your boots. The gentleman who actually sold the pump to me, he come and said, oh, here, this is how you use it, see ya. Never, there was no contact after that or nothing else. And like I said, at that time, I thought, this thing is hurting me, it's not doing me any good on that. So it actually got set aside. I even tried to give it away, nobody wanted it. <laughs> One of my therapists that I had when I was going in, in 2012 was getting, I'm saying close to the end of my therapy and that, she asked me, if I would be interested in knowing more about a flexi-touch pump. And I said, yes, I said, let's see what they've got to offer me. I have nothing to lose and everything to gain on that. And of course, at that time, I had to go to occupational therapists to go through the little hoops that Medicare wants you to jump through. On that first pump, yeah, there's a difference in cost, I guarantee you, but you're not getting what you get with the Plexi Touch. And that, yeah, Medicare said, yeah, we'll pay for this one. I thought they wasted my money. That was my money they were spending. But when it come to the Plexi Touch, no, it wasn't. My money wasn't wasted for that on that. I felt that I got what I needed from the Plexi Touch. Lymphedema is something you cannot Rely, rely on somebody else to do for you. You have to learn to take care of you. In November of 2012, I made a trip to a little town called Mercedes, Texas. I made an appointment with a fellow there who owned a, a boot company there. And that, I asked him, you know, if I could be measured someplace else. He said, no. He said, if you want to get measured for a pair of boots, you come to me. I will do the measuring. Well, he measured me. Six months later, I got my boots. He said, I doubt if you'll ever be able to get into these. I said, we're going to try it. But it took me a year from the time I started my therapy until 2013 to get into them. And when I first started my therapy in 2012, I never thought about becoming an advocate for lymphedema. And to me, whatever happens, on that, if I can ha help one person with this. Right.
you know, if, if I can point someone someplace to help them, I feel I've achieved my goal.